Hello? Hello? I don't like the way that eye is looking at me. Sorry for the wait, Mr. Flores. I am ready to take you now. Take me? Take me where? Now, now. There's no need to be nervous. Nervous? No. It's just your appearance. It's a little intimidating. Intimidating? Me? But I'm your friend. My name's Manny Calavera. I'm your new travel agent. I don't want a new travel agent. I want to go home. <laughs> you can't go home, Celso. You're dead. But you're not alone. Everybody here is just as dead as you. That's why we call it the land of the dead. Are you ready for your big journey? No. What journey? The four-year journey of the soul. It is quite a big trip. And I can't lie to you, Celso. It could be very, very dangerous. Unless you were to take that money you were buried with and buy a better travel package from us. I mean, wouldn't you rather cross the land of the dead in your own sports car? Maybe try a luxury ocean cruise? Or, if you led a very good life, you may even be eligible for a ticket on the number nine itself. The number nine? That's our top of the line express train. It shoots straight to the ninth underworld, the land of eternal rest, in four minutes instead of four years. But very few people qualify. Let's take a look at your records. Hmm? Hmm. Well, the bad news is the train appears to be just out of your reach, but I still got a couple of tricks up my sleeve here. Mm-hmm. Yeah ha! Yes, that's the ticket. The Excelsior Line. Yes, she's a beauty. That compass and the handle will sure come in handy, too. Oh, you're going to have a great trip. Wish I was going. Why don't you? You could give me a lift. Oh, I can't leave here until I've worked off a little debt to the powers that be. Community service, eh? Well, I guess there are some folks worse off than me. Oh, I'll be leaving here soon enough. No thanks to dead and no commission low-life cases like yours, Menso. Hey, Manny. The boss told me to tell you not to leave early tonight. He wants to talk to you about something when he gets back from his trip. Tell Don not to worry. I'm not going anywhere. Especially not with clients like that. Where do they get these guys? They don't qualify for anything good, so I can't sell anything good. I can't work off my time and I'm stuck. Stuck selling walking sticks to a bunch of burros for eternity. I need better clients. I need a real saint. I need a lead on a rich, dead saint. Hmm. ¿Qué es esto? It's some sort of special work order. To all agents from office manager Don Copel. All right, you boneheads. Thank you, lucky stars, and get to your friggin' cars. We have a mass poisoning on our hands. Too many dead to assign specific cases, so all clients are first come, first serve. So let's see some hustle out there. Whatever you say, Hiffy. Yes. Manny, why aren't you at the poisoning? Any messages for me? Besides the one about the poisoning? Yeah. I only have one other message for you, Manny. I'm not your secretary. I don't take your messages. So get it through your thick skull and stop forwarding your phone to me. All right. But that sounded more like four messages to me. Well, I gotta go hit the bricks. Okay, you show those bricks a lesson. Hey, 
service. Hey, who the? Oh, sorry, sir. I didn't expect the sales agents usually don't come over to this part of the garage. I'm Calavera. Manny Calavera. My name's Gladys. I don't get many visitors. Hey! I got a message for a Mr. Calavera. Uh, your driver said that Mr. Hurley said that he could have the rest of the day off. Domino sent my driver home? Yeah, wasn't that nice? Looks like I need a new driver. Oh! I, uh, I, uh, I would agree with that. Yes? You do. You want to be my replacement driver? Me? Oh, oh, no. Sorry. Can't. Rules. Come on, Gladys. I need you to be my driver. No, I can't. I'm, I'm, I'm too big. You're not too big. The cars are just too small. Yeah, those dang compact cars. Hey, that gives me an idea. I could alter your car just a bit with just a quick torch job to let out the seams, you know? I, I'm not allowed to modify the cars without a work order from upstairs. I could lose my job. A work order, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't torch anything bigger than a cigarette without one of these signed by the boss himself. Hey, that's my line. Getting people to sign, back in a snap. Yeah, too small. I'm not too big. Everything around here is just too small. I really need the boss to sign this work order. I'll give it a shot. Mr. Copel, I've got Manny Calavera out here to see you. Didn't I say no interruptions today? Eh, sorry, Cal. Maybe tomorrow. That's too late. Oh, yeah, like you're going anywhere. Big Mr. Boss Man doesn't want to be disturbed today. Domino's door is locked. Probably scared I'll steal one of his files. Not a bad idea, actually. that up. He's got a lock on it. Can't believe he doesn't trust me. He's got a lock on it. Can't believe he... If I go out that way, everyone will know I was snooping around in here. like Don's rigged his computer to automatically answer his intercom. I'll 
I'll just change his auto response here. I'm on the phone! I would love to search Don's office right now, but I'm late for the...